Guys, wait, Zoe's here. Oh, and there she goes. Zoe. Okay. Hello. Today we're gonna talk about barefoot training. But I have definitely talked about foot health on here a number of times, which sounds weird. <laughs> but your feet are really important in your daily life. Like if my feet weren't strong, I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to get through my day. I wouldn't be able to get through half of the crap that I put my body through. I work out for a living, I dance for fun, I live in a city where I walk everywhere and I'm still in my 5K training. So like my feet have to be strong. My feet have to be ready to go and support me. So today we're gonna talk about a few things that you can do to help improve your foot strength and reduce pain that you might be having. But first we have to put a disclaimer. As always, I am not your medical professional. These are simply some ideas and tips and tricks that may or may not help you, but they're definitely not gonna like hurt you as long as you're doing them correctly. Remember that the best care if you're having pain is going to be personalized care. So if you are in pain, please go to a doctor and stop listening to random people on the internet. This is a new angle. <laughs> so the first thing that I wanna suggest to you to improve just your overall foot health is to take your shoes off while you're training. Now, I know that that might like kind of see you out, but hear me out here. I want you to look at a normal pair of shoes. So these are my Adidas Ultra Boost. I love them, I run in them, but look at this whole bottom. This is like a whole cushion, which is meant to absorb the shock of impact, right? Well, if we're doing strength training, we're not necessarily typically doing much that has to do with impact. We're more gonna be concerned about the stability of grounding our foot on the floor. But with that giant pad on the bottom, you're not gonna have as much stability as you could. So honestly, going barefoot or even your socks is going to be a much better option. Now, you're probably thinking, can I just buy weightlifting shoes instead? Well, you could. <laughs> but have you seen the price tags on some of those things? Well, yes, you can absolutely go the Converse route. What most people are gonna re recommend is something like Nike Metcon. I love Nike Metcon, but have you seen the price tag on those? I don't love that. So in my opinion, it's honestly just a better option to take your shoes off. Now, you're probably also thinking, but Justina, don't I see you in all of your workout videos wearing sneakers, specifically wearing Adidas Ultra Boost? Last one here, you should feel a lot of glute hamstring. That is true. But remember that when I'm leading a workout, I'm not doing that workout for me. I'm doing it for you. And I'm also running a business and I have to like have a look that is being presented. And I don't know, leading a class in like bare feet or socks just feels unprofessional looking to me. Like I gotta complete the look. So if you're taking my class, take your damn shoes off. Okay, speaking of class, I am about to teach a lower body, what is this? I'm about to teach a 45 minute lower body power and core workout, which is actually gonna be part of my glute growth program that is coming in January. So check that out when it comes in January. And then right after that, I am filming a first trimester full body pull workout, which will be coming in my prenatal program in February. So also keep your eyes peeled for that. I'm dropping a whole new like four week program every single month in the Fit Club, which is my online, online unlimited membership every single month until like June. So creating a lot of content right now. But once I'm done filming those two workouts, we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk a little bit more about specific exercises you can do to strengthen your feet. So I'll see you there. Bone got a couple cracks on it. Oh well, big boy on the retina. People showing tells on the spicy in my drink. Do my dance like turning tag with a waist that a uh, shit make a boy act dumb. She knows she hot, hot, hot. She knows she pretty. She said for wet. The steam is all dizzy. I feel, I feel petty, I feel gross, I feel messy, oh my god, oh no, no. Whew, okay, focus on me, camera. That was a really hard workout. I don't think I'm gonna film that other pregnancy program workout today. Number one, I like still have to teach another class tonight, I have to go for a run. Number two, I'm also feeling a little, a little body dysmorphia today. 
I know that these pants, like these are very old. I got these when I was much thinner, so they are a little tight, but then I don't know. I'm just like, I'm not, it's fine. It's fine, it happens to all of us. I'm aware that it's irrational, but I'm also aware that I'm gonna be in my head the whole time filming this workout. If I'm just thinking about how my clothes fit, the reason I'm wearing this outfit is because I have to do laundry and I like literally don't have anything else. It's fine, we're acknowledging it, we're sitting with the emotion, but we're also dismissing it because it's very silly. Um, so anyway, instead, I'm gonna put that footage from class on my laptop. And while we're doing that, I'm gonna show you guys some of the exercise we can do. I also really, I kind of just wanted to say that about like feeling not great in my body today because I feel like people always are like, you're so positive and you never like are sad about anything. And like, that's not true. We're all gonna have those days. It's perfectly normal. Okay, so let's say that you are starting to work out in your bare feet or in socks or even maybe in actual like weightlifting shoes, but you still feel really poor stability or really poor like connection between your feet and the ground. I'm gonna give you three different exercises you can do just to help increase your overall foot strength. I'm leaving my socks on because they're gross people on the internet. So the first thing that you can try are arch lifts. So this is not going to be a big range of motion. I believe that I also talked about this exercise in my dancer exercise video. But in this exercise, you're simply just trying to lift the arches of your feet, almost like you are gripping sand. Like, you know, when you go to the beach and you're trying to like put your feet in the sand and grip it, that's kind of the idea that we want here. So I just encourage you to stand with your feet planted on the ground, thinking of spreading your toes wide, and then just carefully grip up and you'll feel the arch of your foot start to lift. This is gonna be good not only for you to get a better connection to the floor, but it's also a great exercise to help prevent ankle sprains in the future. Next one I'm gonna suggest is a flex and spreading of the feet and then a point and curl. So essentially what we're trying to do is just work those end ranges of our dorsiflexion, that's our flex, and then our plantar flexion, that's our point. In addition to that, we're also trying to work on spreading the toes apart. A lot of times in shoes, our feet get really crammed, which decreases our ability to grip the floor. And then same on the other end, just gaining that control over the pointing or the curling of our foot. I'm sure you've seen some kind of video from Squat University about how cramming our feet into these shoes with really narrow soles are kind of decreasing our overall foot stability. It causes bunions in a lot of people. So this is just another kind of corrective exercise in addition to training bare feet or bare foot to help counteract this. <laughs> We're bringing you back up for this one. All right, so the last one that we're gonna look at is a heel lift or a calf raise, however you wanna call it. Obviously, this is gonna work the muscles of your calf, but we're specifically thinking of this in regards to your arch strength, as well as your big toe mobility, as well as your ankle stability. So with this one, you can do it with both feet on the ground, one foot at a time, that's gonna be a little bit harder. You can do it with your hands holding onto the back of a chair, or you can do it just balancing. But again, we're really focused on not only working that arch strength, but driving down into the big toe, working that big toe mobility, and then making sure that the ankle isn't rolling in or out. <sighs> All right, so now I'm gonna put on my running shoes again. So that's what we're gonna do next. First, I'm actually going to edit this class. I'm gonna see when the heck I can film that workout that I didn't wanna film today. Um, and then we're gonna go for a run. When I get back, I'm gonna show you a few different products that are great to help you with your overall foot strength. So let's go. We're doing a hairspray dance cardio class tonight. You guys won't get to see footage of that because it's already, I've already done that class before, but here's like a clip of it from my website. I've actually never done that song with the hairspray can though. It's hairspray I, that like, you saw that come to me in the moment. like a stroke of genius. Anyway, we're gonna wrap up this video with three different products that I do actually recommend in terms of helping with your overall foot health. First one is actually gonna be shoes with a wider, like, 
foot, like a wider sole. And I actually got some shoes sent to me to try out. So we're gonna unbox that. I'm gonna do like a little honest opinion right now. All right, I was smart and I blacked out my address. So these are from Kane Active Recovery Footwear. Again, these were sent over to me for free to try. So I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion, but they're specifically designed to mimic more of the natural shape of your foot and help with your recovery. So I'm excited to try them out. Ooh, okay, so we got the shoes in here. Oh, I, I was like, how are they supposed to fit in here? Okay, so these are like extra, oh, I see, I'll show you. Ooh, they're kind of giving like croc vibes, which I don't hate. I feel like crocs are kind of back in style. So I went for the white with this like peach base. Is this so you can like hang them? But I guess you could like swap out for either the white or the pink, which is nice. Let's try it. I don't think you're supposed to wear socks with them. I don't like putting my bare feet on the internet. There's a lot of weirdos out there. Ooh, I like them. Wait, let's get a better look. I also definitely feel like I have way more room at the top of my foot. Like I don't feel like I'm crammed into them. Let's do a little walk test. These are nice. I feel like these are cuter Crocs. Does that make sense? Ugh. So thank you, Kane, for sending these over. I'm super excited to wear these around the city. I probably shouldn't have gotten white though because I'm going to destroy them. <laughs> All right, next. So like I said, one of the things that I'm gonna be concerned about when it comes to your foot health is how compressed the top of your foot is. This is actually something that I'm trying to self-correct through all of these methods because from dance and from jamming my feet in narrow shoes for so many years, I definitely started to develop bunions, specifically on my left foot. Essentially, if you compress the top of your foot for so long, it kind of makes those bones protrude and come out. It can be really painful and it's just not good for your overall foot. So one of the things that you can do to help correct this is rebuild the natural shape of your foot with toe spacers. Oh, I need to walk. How do these get hairy? <laughs> I blame Zoe. So we will not be showing these on my feet, but I will put up someone else's feet over here that you can actually look at. But essentially, you just put these around your feet and it spreads them out kind of like your hand. And it's supposed to bring back more of the natural shape of your foot, like what we are meant to have before our feet are stuffed into these narrow shoes. Again, you probably have heard Squat University talk about these all the time. I don't know what brand these are. I literally just bought them on Amazon, but I'll link them below. I very much enjoy them. Start out small, try and implement it as regularly as possible, but this is definitely something I highly recommend. And finally, the last thing I recommend, is a massage ball. I'm gonna put my socks back on so I can show you this one. But essentially all you really need to do here is stand up and roll out the bottom of your foot. This is really nice because, you know, again, our feet get kind of stuffed in these shoes and we tend to hold a lot of tension around our arches. So this is a good way just to bring, kind of like foam rolling, right? Like you're blinging, you're blinging, <laughs> you're bringing blood flow and more circulation to the area. And the nice thing is that you can control the amount of pressure that you wanna use. I would say like, just like foam rolling, nice and slow, 10 rolls back and forth. If you find like a nice tender spot, you get to hang out on it. And that's pretty much it. All right, so we're gonna wrap it up right here. The only thing left I have today, I have a nutrition client, my karaoke cardio class. And then afterwards, you bet that I'm going to be rolling out my feet and wearing my toe spacer. If you have any specific questions about foot health, barefoot training, anything like that, drop it down in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out and I will see you all in the next one.